Let's start with Tanaka. He had a great start. Well, he did, and uh, giving him three runs early was a big, big help for him. But you talk about sharp. I, mean, I was really impressed with his stuff. He was all over the strike zone, did not walk a batter, used his fastball a little bit more, and I thought it was uh, pretty ingenious the way that he and Sanchez would get ahead with the off-speed stuff and then use 93 miles an hour to strike out two or three hitters along the way. That's a nice touch for Tanaka. I think that'll serve him well going forward. And, Paul, it absolutely makes it easier for a pitcher when they get an early lead, and Luke Voigt provided that. Well, it's pretty much what's advertised. Big home runs, good pitching, and a great bullpen. And that's what the Yankees showed today. They had an opportunity to, to, to really boat race these guys today and put up big numbers. But they got enough. They got off to a good start. Enjoy Friday. Come out on Saturday and continue. Now, let's continue with the lineup, Paul, because you, you look at that top of the lineup after the leadoff batter, and today it's Gardner. It will usually be Hicks if he's healthy. That is a tough road to hoe for a pitcher. Uh, you can see the, the patience that Stanton and Judge have. I, I don't know what pitchers are going to do up there. Yeah, that's the big thing. I mean, if you have a lot of power hitters that are swing, swing and miss guys and, and are all over the zone, you can pitch to them. But right now, when these guys are swinging at strikes, very difficult lineup to, to, to pitch to. All right, so Tanaka pitches into the sixth inning and then turns it over to what many people believe is the strength of the Yankees and could be the best bullpen in baseball. And it doesn't even have Batances right now. Ottavino, what a debut. Yeah, his stuff was just flat out ridiculous. I mean, you're talking about, you know, the new phrase that we used to talk about throwing on the same plane. It's called tunneling. His pitches come in on the exact same plane, and then they tunnel to the right or the left, and they have ridiculous movement on him. Maybe the best slider in the game. I didn't realize his two-seam fastball moved yeah, that much. It almost moves as much as his slider. The only part with Adovino was just getting it over. When he throws strikes, he's nearly unhittable.